First, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed, liked, commented. I appreciate everything that you've said. No matter what you've said, I appreciate the likes. Please share this with your friends. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you hit that share button. We're trying to make sure that everybody know that they're not victims, that they're empowered for greatness, that we can make a difference again in this nation that we can stand up for biblical values, we can stand up for truth and push back against all the lies and everything that's false that's taking place in this land. So I appreciate that. And please, thank you for looking at my videos and participating and making our voice known. So it looks like Twitter is back at it again. The watchdogs, the gatekeepers of quote unquote free speech have shut down the account of the swimmer who was expressing their feelings when it came to Leah Thomas and his winning of the 500 yard freestyle race. The swimmer, Rika Georgi, I hope I pronounced that right. She's originally from Hungary. And so she, is a decorated swimmer. She is a former Olympian. She went to Virginia Tech. And so on Sunday, a friend of hers, I assume, was talking about how because Georgi finished in 17th place, she was not able to compete um, for the finals of the 500 yard freestyle. And that, and that we, I mean, Leah Thomas pushed her out of the finals competition. Now, I will say this for every video. We love everybody. I sincerely pray for those who are confused, who have been deceived, who has been misled intentionally by the people who are pushing this transgender narrative, this LGBTQ feministic and Black Lives Matter narrative. I truly pray for them because they are being used. They are being turned into victims. And we are not victims, we are empowered for greatness. So I pray for them. This is not about Leah Thomas. It's not about him competing in that 500 yard freestyle race. What this is about is about the fact that big tech, the corporatocracy, big tech is censoring speech that it does not like and it labels it hate speech. So they suspended this young lady's account today. They suspended it all because of a letter that she had posted to the NCAA stating her case, stating her issues with Leah Thomas being able to swim with the ambiguity that the NCAA is contributing and, and creating by its transgender policy and how it is negatively affecting women's sports. And the same people that champion women's sports are, are eerily quiet when it comes to this transgender issue. But that's Twitter. Twitter did the same thing to the Babylon Bee because the Babylon Bee had a satirical post talking about Rachel Levine calling him their man of the year. And so what did Twitter do? Twitter suspended the account of the Babylon Bee. You have to understand what is happening here is a systemic attack on speech that big tech, progressive left, and that crowd deems reprehensible. It's just like we've read in dystopian novels, how you have censorship run amok. But yet, I do not see anybody clamoring <clears throat> for the Babylon Bee, and you probably won't see anybody clamoring for this young lady. You wanna know why? Because they have been badgered into silence. People are afraid to speak the truth, especially to speak biblical values. Christians, Christians have gone along with this. Christians have decided to be silent, <clears throat> to turn the other cheek, if you will, to hope that it just goes away. This will not go away. This is an attack of the enemy, and we must stand firm, and we must fight back. We must use our authority and push back against this attack. We must pray for the people that are being utilized, the pawns that are being utilized, minister to them in love, but speak out and push back against this spirit, this demonic spirit that is looking to essentially kill off the human race. Why do you think the people pushing this agenda is looking to do? 
They want to limit the population. The same spirit that's behind climate change, the same spirit that's behind abortion. It's eugenics. It's all those things wrapped into one. Everything wrapped into one. And so Twitter is the main vehicle that they use to attempt to silence the critics, to silence the other side. But we are not victims. We will not be silenced. We will not be silenced. And so the fact that Twitter suspended this young lady's account is reprehensible and it's appalling. So we, as the free thinkers, we as a free people in this land must speak out about it and must come back that and speak out against Twitter. Find alternatives. There's Getter. Getter is an alternative you can use. Find a different way. Come off that platform. If you're not gonna stand up for free speech, you're not gonna stand up for truth, then stay silent. But if you are, there are other ways we can speak out. There are ways we can be bold. There are ways that we can demonstrate love for the people that are caught up in the deception of this lifestyle, but at the same time speak truth and know that biblical values will not be silenced in the marketplace. We are not victims. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Thank you so much for liking and your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button, smash the subscription bell, share this with everybody you know. We're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims, that they are empowered for greatness, and all of this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end. So please, I appreciate that. Share that.